you're back with another episode of Soapbox, your patient education station. And we're continuing our conversation about physio first aid and a few tips and tricks of what to do, say, if you tweak your knee or, in this case, roll your ankle. So say you tweak your ankle, whether you're a dancer or maybe just a regular human. Um, say you kind of are walking along and you roll your ankle or twist weird and it's just starting to give you a bit of grief. Here are a few things that you can start with doing. So when we chatted about the knee, we talked about those heel slides up the wall. Guess what? You can do them again with ankle, um, any ankle injury. This time we're going to add a little something, something to it though. So you would lay on your back, legs up the wall. So again, it's elevated. You can start with your heel slide. And at the top, even add some ankle range of motion, pointing and flexing, maybe some ankle circles, could do both at the same time, reverse the other way, but again because it's elevated it's going to help flush out any swelling and also just again encouraging that gentle range of motion. So ankle slides with some um, ankle movement at the top. All right. The next thing that you can do for all of you, especially for all of you tap dancers out there, is tap I find is actually a really cool way to start waking up the ankle again. Now, maybe you can't even stand on it. You're thinking, Danny, how am I supposed to do my butt time step? Well, hold the phones. You can get a chair, okay, and you can chair tap, which I actually find it's harder to get your sounds in, even without the ankle injury. So, you get set up, in the studio, so instead of hanging out and doing nothing, you can set up a chair and you can actually practice all your combos in sitting, collapse, shuffle, ball change, you can do your pickups, wings, okay? Um, double wings might be a little bit cranky, especially if you rolled the outside, but again, even just trying gentle Marking, just to start to get your sounds in. Riffs, okay. Um, great, all in seated, and it helps just kind of wake up that ankle again. So, chair tapping, I love. Um, a third thing you can do is you want to make sure that you're going to have enough range of motion at the ankle, especially into a demi plie. So, like we chatted about in ankle and toe week, we want to measure our dorsiflexion, so that's when the ankle is bent like this. And the best way to do that is with the knee to wall test. So you would get your handy dandy ruler, put it up against the wall, measure your good one first. So I want to see how far I can get my foot away, touch my knee, still keeping my heel down. Whatever my good one is at, that is technically our goal for the injured side. So you can match it. Check this one. Ugh, might be a little stiff. So you move it in a little bit. And each day, keep checking it. But you basically want to make sure that that is back to normal, especially before any doing high, any doing any high attack. Either that includes jumping running, even grand plies, that's essentially your demi plie range of motion. So we need to make sure that's restored. Even when the pain goes away after an ankle roll, I find that, that is usually what is lacking in a stiff ankle or a pre-injured ankle, is they didn't, um, they didn't make sure to restore dorsiflexion or their demi plie position. So really make sure your knee and wall is there. Um, Baby rises. Again, this is all within tolerance. So if you find it's getting a little bit better with all the non weight bearing stuff we just went through, you can start trying baby rises, baby calf rises, two feet, parallel. Okay? So super simple, looking at your alignment in the mirror, and maybe you can't go up all the way. That's okay. Even just starting with a few little ones to just start to get the calves to activate. Okay, while you're standing in line at the grocery store, little rises, little rises, little rises, starting in parallel. 
And then lastly, we want to also make sure our balance um, kind of stays up to par. So we're going to do flat foot. Other foot can be in retiré or coupé. Arms in first. And I want to see how long you can balance eyes closed. Okay? And again, this is all within reason. So if you find you can't tolerate standing on one foot yet, I wouldn't do that one just yet. Okay? So start with all the non weight bearing stuff the ankle range of motion and elevation, the heel slide, chair tapping, okay? Keeping it moving, little, uh, little movements under your desk at school. Um, knee to wall stretch, nice and gentle, making sure you can work up to your good side. And then maybe starting with some cat braces uh, to start with. In terms of icing and taping, same thing with the knee. You can ice, again, maybe if it's a little swollen, max five minutes, more for the numbing effect, okay? But that elevation and movements in elevation is gonna be way more effective to flush out that inflammatory product than slapping an ice pack on it and then not moving it for two weeks, okay? Um, but tape, 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 tape. Tape is great for the ankle. It adds a nice little compressive force. It's also custom and conveniently, I have two different tape variations up on the soapbox. One is called basic ankle taping and the other one is called advanced ankle taping. And it's done with just, just a dynamic or stretchy tape. Um, there's two different versions there. Again, choose whichever one you like. You don't need to reef on it. It's just something nice and gentle and compressive for the ankle um, while we're waiting for it to calm down, okay? And you can also go out and get um, like an ankle brace or a tensor. I just like the tape because um, it's a little more custom to the person and dancers can actually move in it somewhat. It's not super, super restrictive. Okay, so start with those five things. And again, this is not meant to be in lieu of seeing somebody. These are just little tips and pointers you can do while you're waiting to get them to see someone to kind of get the ball rolling and keep that ankle moving nice and gently and pain-free. Motion is lotion, okay? So don't be afraid to do some gentle movement even after you tweak it a little, okay? So that's your ankle uh, physio first aid this week on the soapbox. We'll see you in a couple of weeks when we talk about the dip. Thanks guys.